All right, YouTube, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Check out this project right here, 30 by 40, 16 feet tall and processed here in the framing stages up here in Ottawa County. But in this video, let's check out a little framing here. I'll give you some of the specs on this building right here, but you can see these guys are working this out right here. Again, 30 by 40, 16 feet tall at the eave. Now these carve outs here on the overhead door here, two 12 by 14s. All right, so if you're thinking about replicating a building like this on your property, I'll give you some ideas here. Okay, and these windows being carved out right here. Now this building, for example, these are actually gonna be three by four windows. Now you can see right here, see those two by sixes, they're lined up with the three ply laminated columns. And the reason why is actually we're doing an interior liner panel on this. And then we're also doing a finished ceiling. So we're gonna do an R19 sidewall insulation with liner panel. And then on the ceiling up there, all right, and I'll come back and I'll profile this. Like I have another stop here, just about down the road. I'm going to share with you as well, but that's actually going to be our 30 blown in insulation. All right. So you can see here we utilize three ply laminated columns here. And we've talked about, you follow this on the channel here. You see some projects with four by sixes, six by sixes, concrete perma columns, actually four plies as well. But three ply laminated columns, again, southern yellow pine. This has been a popular choice. Okay. Again, 30% stronger than a normal six by six. All right. And a six by six or a four by six, a natural piece of lumber, and it can have the tendency to, to warp or to twist. That's just the way natural lumber works. But a three ply, you can see it's artificially spliced together there. Southern yellow pine treated at the bottom. And again, this is Ottawa County, Ohio, not too far from Lake Erie, up here in the beautiful islands up around here, actually Marblehead, Ohio. But you can see we go down 54 inches and we backfill it with this 411 stone, which is kind of a highway mix. You can see the sand in there. And the reason why we put that in there around the post is it lets the water not congregate, not stick to the post, but it lets it fissure, it lets it escape. All right, and it lets it move. So we never backfill it with dirt. If you want your post to rot, backfill it with dirt. But we backfill it with this 401 stone highway burn mix, we like to call it. Okay, you can see wall girt spacing right here, two by fours, two feet apart. And if you've been following along, you see sometimes we use a two by six, 30 inches apart, but you see on this application here, two by four, two feet apart. All right, and you can see what we're using as far as our top beam headers here. Again, a 30 foot in width that we're spanning there. Truss is four foot on center. You can see we've got the truss blocks applied there. And you can see how we set that every four feet on the header, then if it's not on that post, all right, that three ply will put in that truss block there. So the guys are actually in this very windy country, not too far from the lake, Lake Erie. But you can see they're going to come back and put the H1 hurricane ties. Still in process there. All right, that kind of gives you an idea, perspective there. You can see how we stagger our RS bolts on that top beam header there. We actually use a yellow pie. All right, now if you've been following this, that's what we use. I know depending on your location, your geographic, destination sometimes you might use a douglas fir you need a hard species of lumber for your top beam header now we utilize the yellow pine and we get that out of south down south but it serves its purpose there all right so that kind of gives you an idea and to keep the racky down this building you can see this is not going to be temporary bracing all right over here for example you can see that's just a temporary brace that we have set up but actually this diagonal bracing right there we're running two by six from that intermediate post all the way up to the corner post and the same way there on the E. Now that's going to serve to keep the building from racking. That kind of gives you an idea there. All right, you see this bracing out here? That's temporary bracing. Again, it keeps the building. And we're going to take it off maybe a couple days. Obviously, when you put the this building, going to have vinyl siding. So we'll take that off, obviously, before we put on the vinyl siding. So gives you an idea there, perspective on this building. But commentary is welcome. Until the next one, keep it locked, keep it loaded right here at Bloomberg.